Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Library Management System. So basically we'll be seeing the requirements of this code first. You will be requiring an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code, code blocks or VS code or any other text editor for better experience. Windows 10 operating system or any other latest version is also required. Now we'll be looking at the code part. The basic standard lines that include stdio.h, stdlib.h, and string.h. Then a structure of library, named library is created, which constitutes the attributes, the character arrays like book name, author, the int pages, and float price. Then we have the driver code. We have the main function, and here we need a, to create an instance of the library class. And we create an array, the array name and the book name which keeps a track of the number of books available in the library. Then we have a loop running, which will display that welcome to e-library. You need to add book information, display book information, list all books of given author, list the count of the books uh, in the library, or you want to exit. So basically, depending on that, you have to enter one of the option, and accordingly, it will process your input. If you want to add book, you have to choose the case one. Here it will ask you to enter the book name, enter the author name, enter the number of pages of the book, and enter the price of the book. If you want to print the book information, you can go to the case two. Here you have entered, it will display that you have entered the following information. Again, the book name will be displayed, the author name, the pages, and the price of the book. Then, if you want to enter the author name, it will ask you to enter the author name as input. Then after entering the author's name, will display the same the output file then if you want to print the total cost it will ask you to uh, enter the number of books of that particular author in the library and it will ask you to enter the price of one book after which you can find print the total cost of the book so i already said you about the working of that code like i showed you the working of that code the explanation of the code in the previous video what i'm going to show you today is the output of this code so this was the entire code which we have written together like uh, about the library management like the author's name the book's name the prices the pages so basically it's a blueprint of how the library management system actually works so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this code and implement this code and show it to you so i ran this code in front of you it asks me to enter which information do i need to decipher from here it says be welcome to a library then it asks me to enter one of the books so what will i do I will add a particular book information. So I press here one. My book name say just a lot of small things. Cool. Then, okay, I had to enter a single name. Okay, fine. Sorry. I'll run it again and I'll show you. So I'll enter a single word. Say, I don't know any books. I'm not that of a reader kind of person. So I'll say um, merchant, so name of the book, merchant. Author name is uh, Shakespeare. Number of pages is 300. My price will be 500. So my book has been stored. So what I'll do, I'll display this book. So I plus two. So see, my information is there. My book name, my author's name, my pages, and the price has already been printed. Then uh, what I'll do is I'll press 3. I want to see the name of the author, how many books he has published. So say Shakespeare I have. So he has published Merchant. And the book price and details are all being displayed. The number of books in the library. So I press 4. So my I have only entered one book. So it shows one. Finally, I'll exit. So it's a simple code. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.